Hello guys, I'm Abdullah Isini and in this video I'm going through top 5 purchases I made in 2022 and how they have impacted my productivity and livelihood. Well, a quick disclaimer, a few of them were actually gifts, I didn't actually get them with my own cash. So yeah, we are going with purchase in the absence of better time. So let's get right into it. Okay, at number 5 is the Logitech MX Master 3. I actually did not feel the need to get this, it was entirely based on social media hype. All my favorite YouTubers keep talking about how good it is and how it enhances your workflow. Well, the hype was worth it. I feel like my workflow has significantly improved, I get to customize buttons so how I want them to function in my most used applications for video and photo editing. Um, you can also customize gesture controls which I mostly use to switch between open PDFs while making notes. And also, I'm in love with the wheel, especially the endless cool feature which I enjoyed when going through PDFs while studying. Particle life is pretty amazing and it kinda looks good, you know. Next up is the Canon 250D, also known as the Canon SL3 in some parts of the world. So this is actually my first DSLR and it was about time I transitioned from smartphone filmmaking to actually filming with a camera. I got it with a 15 to 45 mm kit lens and I'm impressed so far with the photos and videos from this guy. Love the ergonomics, I can have a firm grip despite being a small camera. The flip screen also is very useful and it's with you know touch screen capabilities. All the videos so far on this channel are from this guy here. Um, it shoots in 4K but with a 2x crop, never used it and the autofocus is kinda okay. I can't say much about the technical stuff, definitely not an expert and I haven't used other cameras besides a point and shoot so I can't do a relative comparison either. But for beginners, it's okay I guess and I'm so in love with it. So yes, it's a book. <laughs> a big book. So this was the recommended text for pathology and I had a soft copy in PDF format. However, getting the physical copy really elevated my reading time. I felt like I can physically quantify the progress made so far into completing the book and the bulk remnants always motivate me to read more. I might do a video on how I study in medical school. If that's something you will be interested in, kindly subscribe and keep the notifications on. So I bought several books this year, so what's so special about Robbins? Well, <laughs> that might just take us an entire book review which I don't intend to do in this video. So hopefully we'll do a video about it and link it up here. Number two is the Beat Solo Pro. I feel like this should be number one. Yeah, this guy here was my buddy for the entire year. Active noise cancellation has only been a theory to me until I got this. Like, it literally blocks all surround sounds and creates a quiet environment I can comfortably study in. Also, the sound quality is pretty good. I mean, it's beats. Battery life again is amazing and I have never run out of juice during my day at school or in the library. It's so comfortable to wear though I do experience some discomfort after a very long period of time but I guess that's normal. I've watched tech reviews on several good noise cancelling headphones, can't wait to try them out but so far I'm pretty satisfied with this. It's kinda like a reference monitor to my Focusrite headphones I use for mixing. Downside is the playback lag I get when actually producing. I mean, it's wireless and that's expected. Anyways, I can go only talking about this headphone. It's that good. Again, I got this based on social media hype. You know, my productivity influencers all chanting Kindle, Kindle, Kindle. It's changed my life, single best purchase. <laughs> Anyways, I love reading but I've always been a fan of hardcovers and even having the Kindle now, I do try to get paperback copies of my favorite books. 
But really, having the Kindle has been a blessing. I can carry it almost everywhere. It is lightweight and fits perfectly in my pocket. I don't get eye sprains and I love the feature that you can highlight certain lines and save to your clippings for future reference. Probably my favorite feature. All this can be done with your phone, your smartphone or iPad, but I mean, having a dedicated device just for reading cuts down lots of distractions. So yeah, I got it quite late this year and I feel like I'm reading more as compared to before and I can attribute it to its portable form factor. Also, I do export some of my lecture slides to it and <laughs> try to cut down the junk any little time I get. So yeah. The Kindle is my top purchase of 2022 and hopeful to read more in 2023 inshallah. So that's it guys, my top 5 purchases for the year 2022. There are links to the stuffs in the description below if you will want to get them and also I'm referencing shops in Freetown Sierra Leone where you can actually buy them so you can check out my Facebook page for that, all links will be in the description below.